Me, I haven't chosen a craft skill yet. Crod is carpenter in free time. He enjoy working hands in way that doesn't require he put down a tarp. The GM sighed, you have no tools. Me, Crod glares at some spare planks and they know better than to not be a crow's nest. I roll to intimidate the wood. GM, roll it. Crod now has the craft skill angry carpenter. Still, one of my favorite moments was when I had to ad lib a distraction. The group had infiltrated the earlier mentioned cult and were being processed. Our mage wanted to sneak off to check on some enchantments or another and I volunteered to keep their attention. The GM smirks and says, okay, what do you do? Me, Crod tells an entertaining story to distract the acolytes. GM, okay, tell me a story. No roll, tell me the story. Challenge accepted. Me, okay, Crod was kept about themselves and eventually says, Crod had lots of jobs before coming here. Bouncer, bodyguard, gigolo, city guard. GM, gigolo? I nod. Yup, Crod was kept man for noble lady. She'd get off on Crod not being fancy. Crod had to quit though. GM as one of the acolytes asked, why did you quit? Fancy Pants Suitor get mad at Crod for taking his woman. Challenge Crod to duel. Then Crod kill him. GM, and she kicked you out? Me, no, no bell lady get off on that too police get mad though. GM, but duel, okay, but I only have one or two left and I'm not sure I can top the duel. The group has collected some incriminating evidence and returned to town. They're spent the last two weeks going through cult boot camp. And now they're in a bar. While the leader finds the police chief, we order food and Crod finds a wench and proceeds to woo her in the third person. One of our group a cat girl type thing is approached by a waitress who proceeds to pull from her sleeve a live rat, much to the joy of the cat girl. Cat girl. I love service here. Me, Crod respects service, but worry for kitchen. The leader comes back and tells us we need more evidence. We have to sneak back into the cult compound before we are found missing. The group isn't thrilled especially Crod. Me with my lip quivering, but. But Crod have wench. Crod cannot leave wench. Leader, you got 20 minutes. Me, Crod looks offended. Crod many things, but Crod gentleman. He need more time than that. Leader, you got 20 minutes. Me, Crod rolls to intimidate the time-space continuum. GM, no he doesn't. Cat girl. You could roll to intimidate her to finish quicker. Me, Crod never bring work to bedroom. He treat wench like beautiful flower she is when Crod beds her. GM as the wench. Thank you for that. Me, shut up wench. Crod talking. The leader sighs, 40 minutes. Me, Crod rolls for acrobatics. GM, like hell. Me, boom, nat 20. GM, god damn it. Crod had a merry time at the cult. The first time Crod talks out of the line GM says, you instructor bops you in the head saying, no talking. Me Crod very slowly turn and glares hole in the man, bop. Crod. Again, I roll intimidation. 19 plus 13 equals 32 for intimidation. Crod is level 3 at the time. GM. He never makes eye contact with you again. Ah, but Crod was not always so lucky. At one point, he's elected to map out the compound and sneak to and sneak to the top floor in disguise. He gets up the stairs and a pair of magic door stops him. GM, the doors are 12 feet high and engraved with scenes of decadence in many forms from orgies to feasts. Me, Crod is struggling to remember why he is against this holy place. Problem, Crod kind of forgot to put a lot of points in picklock. He's average at best, and rolls shit. He get frustrated after getting hit with an ice blast in the face. Me, stupid enchanted port way. Why you taunt Crod? GM, the silver doors do not reply. Me, wait, the doors are made of silver? Cat girl, they're silver plated right? GM, the module just says silver. Me, okay, Crod rolls to pocket the doors. GM, no, me, I'm not leaving without these. GM. How are you going to hide 12 foot doors? Me, Crod is wearing robes and he has a forest skill for holdout or whatever. GM, no, me, 
Prod rolls Angry Carpenter on the doors. GM, they're made of silver, Angry Carpenter only intimidates wood. Me, damn, that's true. Well, I can't get them open. We'll settle this later. So Crod leaves dejected but not beaten multiple sessions later, we clear out leadership of the cult and the group knows we're done. The GM is moving this is a nice stopping point. As we're cleaning up the bodies, I remember those accursed doors. Me, hey wizard I need your help. Help disenchant the doors we're stealing these. GM, you won't let this go will you? Me, nope, Crod never leave job half done. Wenches half love their stuff half stalling. It matter of pride at this point. Cat girl, and gambling debts. Me as Crod nods, that too. GM, fine, but you get those doors on a nat 20 and you get the guard in town on the same. You know I don't recall the name of the class that gives himself and teammates luck bonus but with an a his help and a poorly worded module, well Crod retired a happy orc. And that's the story of good old Crod. That was a fun read. I enjoyed the OP Crod should be read by someone better than me. Like Den of the Drake or Mordekia. If you want them to read this story send it their way. Other than that the GM was good, they were rolling with the punches and shut down the whole intimidating the time-space continuum. How does that even that work? My poor brain is hurting now. With this story told I leave you with this keep chuckling in the ocean of chaos or turn into sea wiggles. Now I need to take a nap, bye.